Welcome to Theater Advice with the Onstage Blog, where we answer your questions on all things theater and Broadway related. I'm Greg. I'm a member of the editorial staff of Onstage Blog. And joining me is Chris Peterson, the founder of Onstage Blog, and a man with 25 years experience directing, producing, performing, designing, backstage, front of house, you name it, he's done it. So thanks, Chris, for joining us. Um, we're going to be answering questions submitted to us through our email, theateradviceosb at gmail.com. And also questions, interesting questions we find, you know, on the web, you know, especially Reddit and any other places where they pose really interesting questions that Chris, I want to get your take on. Um, so let's get started. So uh, today's topic is on dress for Broadway shows. So this question comes from Reddit. Um Reddit user Burnzilla by the Bay. Okay. I know them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to read this question. We'll show it on YouTube as well. So going to my first show on Broadway, Sweeney Todd with Josh Groban. Is it proper to dress fancy or casual? Uh, my mom says she's wearing leggings and a top, but I'm not convinced. I get dressed up for shows in my home city of San Francisco. Anyone have answers I seek? So Chris, I don't know if we, I don't know if you want to weigh in on leggings specifically, but I want to ask you how sh today in 2023, how should one dress for a Broadway show in New York city? It's a great question. Now I do not think that we need to go back to days of wearing tuxedo tails and evening gowns because with the size of the seats in Broadway theaters, that's just uncomfortable. Uh, the temperature gauges in theaters are wacky it could be hot it could be cold so let's not get into that but what i will say is this i do think people without policing clothing should absolutely have a sense of occasion when it comes to attire uh for for a broadway show or any show for that matter um on that i'm wearing a a golf shirt a polo shirt i would wear this uh to most broadway uh shows especially in the daytime especially in the summertime uh no one wants to be sweating inside a broadway theater that's gross and things like that so but you want to be presentable and and um and and somewhat professional like you're this is an event this is something that's special this is something that doesn't happen every day you want a real sense of occasion i know that there's been some controversy in the past where i've seen on twitter uh picture taking people taking pictures of folks in like shorts and flip-flops or, or tank tops, men's tank tops and things like that. And um, I would agree that with most commentators that I don't think that's appropriate. But again, um, in this new age of expression, this new age of, um, you know, freedom of, of being who you are and whatnot, um, you know, bring that to the theater. But like I said, let's, let's make sure we have a sense of occasion. What I will say is this, I do not like seeing people cosplay at Broadway shows. So do not do that. Do not come to Phantom dressed as the Phantom. Do not come to Wicked dressed as characters uh, from Wicked. There's a time and place for things like that. Broadway Con, shameless plug, but not at going to a Broadway show. I did see this happen once. Um, I went to a show um, uh, called The Prom, and uh, one of the folks coming in, one a couple coming in, was dressed like the characters from the prom and I thought that that was silly and, and stupid um and uh, I will use that word stupid well right because like even like if you go to a baseball game like people will wear a baseball jersey but they're not wearing like the baseball pants or cleats you know and, like, stuff, like, stuff you don't like see that. someone going to a football game wearing pads shoulder pads and a helmet um because honestly it can also be distract it's first of all it's it's very distracting for the audience if people are sitting around you it can also be very confusing for some theatrical goers thinking that you might be part of the show and that is also why right. places right. like disney world do not allow certain types of cosplaying uh, when you enter the park because they, they don't want people getting confused with the actual performers and characters inside the park. So right. leave your cosplaying at home. Enjoy the theater as you are, who you are. But like I said, have a sense of occasion with it. Do you think it matters by show how you should dress? So like, for example, I'm thinking like like a Disney Broadway show, Lion King, Aladdin, family, a family type show, like you don't need to wear a suit right yeah there, there really no, there's no particular reason to wear a suit to that but like for another type of show whether it's hamilton or you know you know hades town the sweeney todd revival or, todd, or should, the big prestige show that's happening that season yeah yeah should you elevate your dress especially if you're going to like a saturday night show like you know a saturday like 
are those the occasions you should elevate? You should try if you can. If you can't afford it, you don't have something enough to don't bother, but maybe try and elevate yeah. your dress. I, with I would say, look, you know, it, especially if you if you take pride in yourself, if you take if you're excited about going to see a show, why not make part of the experience getting dressed up, getting, you know, dolled yeah. up? You know, very, very uh few times will someone go see a Broadway show and that's all they do that night. It, it, they go see the show and they go right back to their, their place of residence and go to sleep. Usually there's a dinner, either preceding or, or, or yeah. after the show. Um, maybe you're going out to a party or drinks or things like that. So again, like make it an event, make it special because the more special you make it for yourself, the more exciting yeah. that you're going to want to do that more often um, on that end as well and keep coming back to see these Broadway shows. But again, take some pride in yourself. Now I will say this, Sunday afternoon matinees, Wednesday afternoon matinees in July and August in New York City, Dress, dress cool. It's fine. If you want right. to come in in a nice designer t-shirt, a nice polo shirt, maybe some shorts with some loafers or nice shoes, things like that, you do you because you got to be comfortable. I don't want you sweaty yeah. sitting next to me stinking up the joint. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks, uh, from the one and only Chris Peterson. So if you have a question that you'd like us to answer in one of these episodes, please write us, uh, theateradviceosb at gmail.com. You could also comment uh, at us on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. Uh, our handles in all three of those is on, as at onstage blog. So uh, yeah, so send us your questions. Uh, we'll look through them and uh, we will answer them on air. So Chris, thank you very much. And we'll see you next episode.